In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the 510 mid VCS versus the Ride Concept Hellion Elite. We're gonna talk about the cost, the comfort, and of course the grip of these shoes, and then I'm gonna get on the trail and ride these shoes back to back and tell you what I think. All right, we're out here trail side. I thought there'd be no better way to test these shoes than to get one shoe strapped to each foot. We're gonna be able to test the comfort and the grip of these shoes well riding let's go ahead and cover the cost because that's one thing we we're going to talk about at the time of filming this video the ride concept hellion elite are 140 dollars well the 510 free rider mid vcs are 180 dollars now i did get these shoes on sale when they first dropped for 140 so keep looking online maybe you can find them cheaper but 180 dollars i think is a little bit ridiculous for a shoe so that's a definite knock to the 510 free riders now let's talk about the comfort. When you throw on the Ride Concept Pelion Elite, they're just like any other old school mountain bike flat pedal shoe with the standard lace-ups. One thing that they do have going for them is they do have this cool little band right here that you can go ahead and tuck the laces into and not feeling too bad, there you go. Now the 510 Freeriders on the other hand, and some of you may hate this, are Velcro which I actually have come to like because it makes those adjustments super easy, like I talked about in my initial video with these shoes. It makes it super easy just to adjust, get it just right. If you're riding trail side and you wanna make any slight adjustments, like that one's too tight, boom, super easy. And it's also got this sock right here that I've actually come to really like. I've really gotten used to having that and it feels a little bit weird having a low top with my ankle exposed like that with no protection this has got that d3o protection i'll throw a link in the top to my first video i did on the free rider mid vcs where i cover all the specs in detail about these but now it's time to get out on the trail start riding i'll show you guys some ride clips of these shoes on the pedals and then i'll give you guys my final impressions about how each of these shoes performed while riding All right, so doing a couple laps in these shoes, initially when you hop on the bike, you can just feel the difference in grip between these two shoes. And it may not surprise some of you that the 510 Freerider grip way outperforms the Ride Concept Hellion Elite. When I was climbing up some of those technical spots and doing those little half pedals, I felt my left foot with the Ride Concepts on them just kind of slipping off the pedal to whereas my right foot was completely locked in. I'd even say that you kind of have to pull up on it to get it to readjust on the pedal. That thing is set. Once you get it in the right place, the grip of the 510 Freerider holds true. You're not gonna have to worry about it. Now talking about the comfort of these shoes. The comfort, I will admit, of the laces, I think it's just a little bit more comfortable on the front of your foot. These straps, you can adjust them, but initially when I strapped them on, it was just a little bit too tight on the front of my foot right there and it started to create like a pressure point now after adjusting them the pain did kind of go away right there and i think after these broke in they would be even more comfortable than they are right now the shoe is a little bit newer i did just get these uh, last month put in quite a few rides on them though and these shoes are about six months old now one other thing we need to talk about when it comes to these two shoes is the looks so leave a comment below what do you think velcro shoes midsole the way they look on the inside right there with that d3 d3o liner you like these shoes yes no would you go with the shoe like this because you like the way it looks even though you know that that grip is not as good as the 510 free rider now we also need to cover toe protection. Both of these have a pretty stiff toe, just pushing in. Let me see real quick. I wanna say that the Ride Concept has a little bit better toe protection. Not that the 510 Freeriders won't protect your toes, but the Ride Concept Pelion Elite, definitely just a little bit more protection on the toe right there. 
Now, another thing I got to cover is how easy these shoes are to clean with the 510 Freerider Pros. It's got those Velcro straps. There's no laces to trap the dirt in, getting muddy, mucky, wet, hard to dry out. It's pretty water resistant material as it is. A little bit of water will get into this sock and through the top right here on the shoe where it's got those holes so that it'll breathe. However, nothing compared to the Ride Concept Hellion Elite, which do have the same type of material around the sides of them, but with those laces and the mesh tongue on the shoe right there, they're definitely let a lot more water in. Also, when you talk about getting dirt, rocks, debris into your shoe, there's really no competition. The Mid VCS has this ortho light sock. D3O protection on the inside is a bonus, but the one thing I like the most is it just keeps all that stuff out of your sock sock totally clean right there i don't know if you can tell the difference on that side but when you look down in here you can already see i got stuff just from the little rides down inside my shoe so if that's ever bugged you this shoe definitely solves that problem so which one of these shoes do i recommend for you well if you're looking for the best price you're definitely going to want to go with the ride concept Pelion elite at 40 dollars cheaper however if you're looking for the best grip the best overall performance on the trail i'm definitely going to have to recommend the brand new 510 freerider mid vcs Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you smash that like, hit that subscribe, watch this video twice, whatever it is you gotta do to help the channel grow. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. See you guys next time.